What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you five books that I purchased on Amazon and flipped back on Amazon to make a profit of $338. I did all of this using a Chrome extension called Keepa. And the way that you can find that is quite simple. You can go to the link in the description or you can go over to the, the Google Chrome web store, just type in Keepa and you can add it to Chrome. Okay, so here are the five books that I purchased. And in this video, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you the strategy I used with Keepa to find the book. And then also I'm going to show you all of the, the numbers. I'm going to show you when I bought it and when it sold. Also what it sold for and how much I bought it for. And then therefore the profit that I returned at the end of it. So let's get right into it. The first book that I purchased was Fundamentals of Microcontrollers. And you can see that I actually did buy it on April 15th. It says up here on my Amazon account. This is just a general Amazon account. And if I, okay, this is the Keepa graph. And if I zoom in on the Keepa graph, on April 15th, you can see that this was April 15th was the time where the price of this book went below the price that I had set on the track product feature. Now, what happened at this point in time was two sellers basically had a repricers that were lowering the prices um, to be more competitive until a sale was reached and basically dropped the price down over this period of time to a price that I was comfortable buying the book for so that I could flip it on Amazon. So the, the price that I tracked this at was $69.35. That was the time when I got notified that that in fact actually happened. And the reason why I purchased this book for $69, the reason why I felt comfortable with that was because if I look at the past history, I had seen that it had sold for well over $100, sometimes even over $200. So I felt like at that point in time, maybe I could purchase it and sell it back on Amazon. So you can see that in fact, it did sell on Amazon on June 27th. It sold for $215 and we can go and look at the breakdown here. So the purchase price, $67.40, sold for $215. I paid Amazon $40 to basically sell the book on Amazon and I landed a profit of $107 with that one book. Okay, let's jump to the next book, which is the Holy Bible book. I purchased this uh, on March 1st. So if we go ahead and zoom in on March 1st here, you can see that I purchased the book for $74.95. Now, I did not use the track product feature to find this book. In other words, I didn't get an email notification about this book. Instead, I actually found this book using the Keepa Deals page. And I have a video on how to, how to use that. You can watch that after you're done watching this video. But essentially, you set certain parameters. And what you're interested in or what I was interested in was Amazon showing me books or actually Keepa. Keepa showing you books that saw a certain price drop over a specific interval of time, and that was one of them. So I purchased this book for $74.95. And again, the reason why that book came up in that search is because it had sold for well over $74 and saw a, a large price decrease in a specific period of time. Like it sold for here $199, you know, $130. So I ended up purchasing this book for that $74.95, ended up selling it on June 3rd for a total of $199. And if we go back to uh, our breakdown here, you can see that was a 242% return. Actually, that's the wrong book. The, the book is actually right here. The return was 116%, purchased it for $74.95, sold for $199, paid Amazon $37.88, and it made a profit of $87.16. All right, let's go to the third book. The third book is Greatness is Upon You. Purchased this book on March 10th. Now let's go and zoom in on March 10th here. That would be this point in time. And you can see what happened was the price of this book dropped from 65 all the way down to $20. And I got notified because I set a tracker for $25 here. Um, I would have to reload the page to basically show you that. But I have this tracker set at $25. And that, that happened. I got sent an email notification. The reason why I decided to purchase this book was not really because of the sales here, right? I'd saw, I had seen that the book was selling for around $30, but it was more kind of what happened in its past. You can see that in its past, if I go back a little bit further on, you can see that I was selling for multiple times of over $100. So I knew that there was precedent of this book selling for significant amount of, amounts of money. And also at that time when I did purchase the book, the number of used offers was actually really low. And so just simple supply and demand. If there isn't a lot of supply, then if I'm buying this book at a really low price and I look back into the past and we can see that when the supply was a little bit lower, like five five uh, used offers to eight to 10 used offers, that this book was selling for over $100. So 
probably if I bought this book for you know a good price, around twenty dollars, when the number of used offers was low, I had a high chance of selling it for a lot higher amount. And I did end up selling it for seventy seven ninety nine, which really isn't probably as high as I could have sold it for, but nonetheless. Still made 192% ROI. Bought it for $20.24. Sold it for $77.99. Paid Amazon $18.90. And it made a profit of $38.85. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this mental health consultation book. Purchased it three times on March 19th. And let's take a look at March 19th here. Zoom in. You can see that uh, the price got to $16.49. And that was below my desired uh, tracker of $25. And let's see, the reason why I bought this book there was because if I looked into the past, had all the data that I had at that point in time, I saw that it had sold for significant amounts of money. So there was precedent for that happening again. And I ended up selling for $75 uh, around this period of time. Now, you can see that if I would have held on to the book, I could have sold all three copies for more money. Could have sold them for at least $92, but that's okay. I'm happy taking the profit and reinvesting the money right back into the business. So you can see I sold them May 22nd for $75. And let's go and take a look at the breakdown there. So that's a 242% ROI per book. Purchased for $16.50, sold for $75, paid Amazon $18, and I made a profit of $40. Okay, the last book I'm going to show you is a really cool one, Programming Languages and Methodologies. Purchased it on March 1st. If we zoom in on March 1st, you can see that I bought it for $19.99. And all the information that I had up until that point in time told me that this was a book that was super undervalued because it was selling for well over $90. And in fact, I sold mine for well over $90. Sold mine for $115.03. And if we go and look at the breakdown, that would be a 272% ROI. And I made a, basically made a profit of $65.25. Okay, the point of this video is to show you that you can use Keepa to do some online arbitrage. You can use the deals tab and you can use the track product feature. And by the way, the way that I found this book was not with the track product feature. It was again with the deals tab. And again, I have videos that you can watch on my channel if you're interested in figuring out how to use that. Um, and... Something that's interesting about this book is I set my tracker after buying this book, I set the tracker for $10.22. And if I would have set the tracker a little bit higher, let's say at $19.99, I could have bought this book again for $20 and I probably could have sold it again for over $100. But the point of this video was to show you how you can use online arbitrage to make money sitting right here in your seat. And if that's interesting to you, uh, hit the like button, consider subscribing. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'd be happy to help you out and make a video and help you grow your business as I grow my business. So that's all I have for you today. Have a good one and goodbye.